Greetings and welcome to Energize You TV, season five, episode number 25. Thrilled that you're here today. And I know that you would like more energy. I always get that. And also, would you like to be aligned and with your energy to shift your finances? We're still here today on energy of money. And I know you're leaning in right now, so stay with us because today we have Mastering Abundant Wealth, Prosperity, and Financial Freedom. And we're going to be talking about all of that. You know where I get that from as you're leaning in saying, yes, I want that. Is I get it from the energy, from the raise your energy in 30 seconds or less naturally. So you shine with more energy, joy, and abundance. That's where I get it from the copy of my latest book, Ignite. So, you know, go ahead and grab a copy and come with us as we go through every chapter. Because it will have golden nuggets that will help you to create and to have a powerful energy source every week about energy of all the different subtitles in the Ignite book. So let's take a breath right now. In through your nose, out through slip mouth, so that we can raise the vibration of the planet right now. Doesn't that feel good again? And let it out. Beautiful, beautiful. Because we're phrasing that, we're bringing in that chi, right? So you know what? I selected a special guest just for you because not only is he an expert in finances, Manny Blue, he's also a change maker for kids and he's an artist, a speaker, so much more. And he is deeply passionate about helping you discover the energy of money and he's going to be giving us some valuable golden nuggets. So go ahead and get your pencil and pen because these are writer downers. Absolutely. And, and all with all the help that he's going to give us, we're going to feel better. We're going to have this healing for money. We're also going to increase our love and joy and happiness. And of course, our abundance because we're going to learn so much about that energy of money through and with Manny Blue. I'm so excited. And you know what? Did you know that the studies have proven that meditation increases brain function and, the, and your total well-being? And also, the long-term meditation practice that they have... Let me start that again. Also, long-term meditation practices had practitioners or people that practice had a larger grain gray matter in the volume of the brain region and it helped you to have more attention it helped with more memory and it also helped with regularly re, uh, helping with your emotions wow so that is why i have been a meditation expert for over 20 years and you know what i know that getting in alignment with your vibrational field with your energy is something you want to do that's why you're here so so stay tuned to the end when i'm going to do a activation visualization meditation just for you at the end of this at the last segment and it'll be a 10 minute it's going to be great because you know what i know there's many of you that feel stuck right now and that's what i do is i help with those spiritual ideas i help with those spiritual answers to really ignite those within you so go ahead and be kind go ahead and share this with your friends your family because they want to get unstuck i'm sure also and then they want to ignite their gifts and really step into their gifts so thank you for being so kind and you know one of the biggest things that i get asked all the time is this next segment so i know that i think you're really going to like this so Go ahead, get that writer down or get something to write on because we're going to talk about energy right now. And you might be leaning in saying, well, what is energy? Well, energy is when you walk into a room and like your stomach props, you just feel like, oh, over here, that's feeling energy. Or you ask your best friend, hey, Linda, how are you feeling today? And she's like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. And it's not what she says or how she said. You just have this feeling, mm, Something's going on. That's understanding energy or feeling that. And it's just like Einstein said, and I quote, that what? Energy never dissolves. It merely changes 
forms. So energy can never be released forever. So sometimes in a practitioner, you know, I'm in with my clients because I'm a Reiki master and spiritual counselor and they'll come in and they'll say, I want to get rid of this. I'm sick and tired of always remembering this abuse or whatever happened. And I was like, well, we'll, we'll get rid of it, but yet we're not. And they're like, what? It's energy. It can't be dissolved. It will always be there, but it's how we change the form of the vibrational field of it that changes how you emotionally connect to it. Isn't that beautiful? This is resonating with you. Here you go, because many of you haven't seen this one either. This is the energy. This is an emotional vibrational frequency chart. Now, these numbers are relative. They're relative numbers. But you know what? When we look at right here, when you're in shame, blame, guilt, fear, drama, trying too hard, shoulda, woulda, coulda, oh, all of that, you're in a lower vibration. That means emotional too. And that will bring your energy down. But as we bring you up, what happens is you start to experience more beauty when you accept things that, the way they are. When you also bring in that love, that joy, also the gratitude and the appreciation, peace and compassion. When we stay in these higher vibrational fields, what happens? We feel better and you physically feel better. And that way, and what you can do is you can move your energy. You can manipulate. People don't like me to say that, but you can. And you can manage it and you balance it because you're changing the forms. Very powerful. Now, what you consider this. Now, Joe Dispenza works a lot with science, right? And what he says, and I really like this, is to elevate emotions, bringing them up into that place of joy, peace and compassion, as we bring that up, which carries a higher energy, that's what he's saying, is the magnetic charge you are sending out into the field, out into your field. And when you combine the electronic, that electric charge, your intentions, like the intentions of, I'm having a great day, I'm having a great day, with the magnetic charge, that elevated emotion, that emotion, you create an electromagnetic signature that is equal to your state of being whatever it is in your vibrational field in your circuits and you go well what does that really look like well you know what it's just like this it's just like this that you have an aura around you yes i have been doing aura photos for over 25 years they're so fun because you get to see your vibrational field and you go ah now I understand what's going on with the field of vibration. And you know what else I use because I love it too. So I use the shining wheel. And many of my students will say, oh, Angel, that is a medicine wheel. Well, there's many different cultures that use a lot of different wheels. This is a different kind of wheel, but maybe it could be the same. I'm not sure. But you know what? We hit one position in this. And the position that we're going to talk about today is the male position. And, you know, in this male, it symbolizes strength, leadership, power, honor, guidance. So, so the medicine of the male energy is power and courage. Isn't that beautiful? And also in this male position is always balancing the male and female because we all have both. So it's understanding that all humanity is always balancing the male and female, yin and yang. It's so true, isn't it? So let us take a moment to connect to this energy field because this is a powerful energy field. And let's just take 30 seconds because I'd like you to be right here right now with me. So let's breathe in and imagine clearing your energy field and all the negative forces and all that negative stuff around you. And we're going to start to dissolve any of those patterns, getting rid of those anger, shame, blame, guilt, blah, any of that. And we're going to bring up, breathe it in with me, breathe in, hear my voice and breathe it in. Take another one, positive energy coming in from all over. There you go. There you go. You know that you're grounded, safe, secure, protected here. There you go. And creating this beauty, creating this awesomeness and bring in the mail. That will help you to have that strength, that leadership and the power and the love. Beautiful. Don't you feel it? You're leaning in, aren't you? And you're going, hey, I really like this. And you know, the biggest thing is too, is I do this on every full moon. Now the next full moon is is in 
the next full moon is March 20th. It's this Sunday coming up. And in that, we're going to be having some fun for sure on the full moon. <clears throat> and the other thing is that is virtual. Yes. And you know what? This one is in person. And people love my in-person ones because then we get to go and play. And we're in the world's largest sundial. Holy moly, holy moly. So that is awesome. I just love that. So and you know what else that we do? We do a power, a sacred power animal. And we talk about that also. And this week is the rat. And I picked the rat on purpose. And the reason that I pick the rat is because understanding that power animals are different than the like your guides or your angels. And you, many cultures will say that you have to have your power animal to go deeper into your meditation. And I want you to go deep in your meditation. So that's why I bring this up. So if the rat shows up, which is showing up in your life right now, you're watching, you're right here. And then what that means is you have plenty available to you at all times, in spite of any fears or thoughts that it isn't so. Remember that. Then the next one is you want to call upon the rat in the essence, the medicine of the rat. When you're involved in venture, something going on in a project and you want it to succeed. And yet you're feeling kind of uncertain about it. Call the rat in and say, come on, rat, come help me. Come on, come on, rat. Come help me. I know. If it's your power animal, you adapt very well to surroundings in your environment and can live on whatever is available. You're very resourceful if that's your power animal. And you might be like, wow, this sounds really cool. I want to know about my power animal. I want to know what it looks like or how it shows up for me in my life. So if you want to know that, then you know what? Get with me and we can chat because in session number 15 of the spiritual cookbook right there is... We talk about that session. We can talk about that. And in the spiritual cookbook, there's like 18, 25, actually there's 25 different sessions that over these 30 years, 25 years, I have been teaching. So it is a powerful way to look at things for sure. So let's go back. Coming back over to here. <sighs> Take a breath right now as it's, because I know that you're leaning in, but you know what? I think to right now, right here, is a divine moment. In this divine moment, we're going to take another one of my books. And what we're going to do is we're going to just pick one to give you a little reading out of this. Oh, 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 personal power. Now, this book is 52 Secrets for Greater Success and Higher Self-Esteem. Secret number Nine. Here we go. This is my quote. I quote myself. Personal power is accepting and acting upon your uniqueness. Oh, when you really have your own power, your uniqueness. Yeah, that's power when you step into that. That's beautiful. I, I, that's beautiful. And, you know, does that make sense to you? But also, let's do the action. The action step I do, action step, and then I also do Shine Speaks. That's my doggy Shine. She speaks in everyone because it's fun and it makes you think outside the box how a dog would look at it. So here is your action step. Breathe because you know that changes the vibrational field of the whole entire planet because you're going out. Isn't that beautiful? Right? So here it is. Breathe. Oh, good. Write down five things. You are proud to tell others you are successful at. Five things. Post this list in a, in a visual so you see it location. Repeat daily and breathe. And breathe. See how I started breathe and then end it with breath because it's so important to do the breaths. So fabulous there. Take it that. Okay. So. As we continue over, you know what's next <laughs> is the next is our, uh, oh, this segment. You're going to really like this segment because if you love crystals 
as much as I love crystals and teaching crystals for all these years, you're going to love this. But we got to go to this commercial right now. And our sponsor, we love him. We'll be right back. Traditional business cards are often lost or forgotten. This can lead to missed opportunities and wasted time and money. Java Logics offers a unique solution. Eco-friendly paperless business cards that are easy to update and share. With our QR code, you can share your card with anyone, anytime, anywhere. It's the easiest way to share your details. Interested in getting one? Click on Get Offer and get your own digital business card today. I get comments all the time on my digital print, digital card. Check it out. There is his information. Go ahead because he's got an amazing deal right now for that digital card, and it is amazing. He's also just finished doing my whole entire website. So take a look at that too because he's genius. Preston is a genius when it comes to that. So now I promised you in this segment that you'd be leaning in because you wanted to learn more about the crystal. So what I have for you today is I have a Fool's Gold Pyrite. Here's the big one. This was the first thing that I bought over 25 years ago when I started my business, Lightworkers Gifts. And this has been with me in my store when I had my center in my wellness center, metaphysical center. So I wanted to share that with you because it's about money energy. We're talking about money energy today. So this, the pyrite fool's goal, however you want to look at it, is believed to offer various spiritual and physical benefits. Protection, negative energies will be moved out. Any psychic attacks, it will help you with that. And the medicine helps us with manifesting abundance. That's why I picked it today. And prosperity and success. So you really do want to go get one of those fools going. And it's believed to attract wealth and, and opportunities for you. Because that's what I want for you is you to feel better. And it increases confidence. And it's really helpful in creating grounding, circulation. It helps there and the respiratory. Very good. So if you want to learn more, you know what? In session number three in the cookbook, that's when you can do that online or in person to get that. So remember that that beauty and that love helps you with crystals have vibration and it helps you step into your gifts. It helps you to ignite those in. So say this with me. When I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. Go ahead and say it again. When I ignite my energy, I ignite my gifts. There you go. Beautiful, because that is your outer talents. So right now, we're going to go into the, we have a beautiful lady coming on right now. Let me get, let me do a couple of things here to get her going. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to, okay, there, to a spotlight moment right now with Gail West. Now, Gail's going to be joining us next week on the show. So here she is for her go for her spotlight moment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The... Hello wonderful souls. I'm Gail West, author of the book Money Come Dance with Me. I'm so excited to be featured on Energize U T V. Thank you, Angel Marie, for the positivity that you bring to the world. It is so needed right now. And I'd like to share a little golden nugget. Consider that every almost everything in your home is there because of a monetary exchange, down to the very nails in the walls. Think of all the people that your money blessed as a result of that, and I invite you to go around your home and bless money, and all the people that your money blessed to bring these things to your home. And I thank you, and I thank Angel Marie, and invite you to join us in this incredible adventure of energy, joy, and healing. I'm Gail West. Lots of those and clickings. I'm clicking all over the place. So Gail will be with us next week, and I'm very excited about that also to have her um, coming on 
And there is her email address also, so you can contact her. Beautiful, beautiful. We're getting close. We're getting close to having Manny Blue coming on in a few minutes. So he's going to come and grace us with his beautifulness. And I want to thank everybody for being here and watching, because if it wasn't for you and you watching today, you know, this show is a labor of love for me and I've been doing for over five years and to be able to hit over 4 million minutes viewed is that, that the media express and expression is so huge. And I thank you for that. So I appreciate it. So go ahead and share it out. So we're getting ready to have Mandy come, Manny, Manny come on. So he's going to be coming on telling us exactly how he shows up so i'm waiting for him to come on right now where is he so we can go ahead and let's see we're going to take him and he's not in there yet so maybe we're having some little bit of problems i'm not sure so let's chat a little bit more about energy of money until my guest can come on because i'm not sure where he is so with that Let's see. Uh, I just went, oh, thank you. A couple people are coming on. Thank you for saying hello, Beverly Brown. Oh, my dear love. And thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. And moving on right now, as we move on, waiting for Amanda, Amanda, Mandy. I'm always saying Mandy. It's Mandy, Manly. Blue, Mr. Blue, how about that? We'll call him Mr. Blue. We're waiting for Mr. Blue to come on. Let's see if he is having some technical stuff over there. Yep, he's not getting with me. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through these questions because, well, because I can. So, and then when he comes on, we'll do that. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is how do you what kind of meditations do you do and what do you do in your spiritual practice to be able to raise your energy around money energy? And one of the biggest things that I do is in the meditation, remember what Joe Dispenza said, remember what Einstein said, raising the vibrational field. Now, many of you know I have a signature song, and I get all like crazy, and I'll raise your energy. I don't mean it like that. I don't mean that. Raising your vibrational field isn't necessarily the physical getting there. Yes, that does really do help to move. Remember, movement is lubricant, but it's not all about that. It's about raising your energy with that joy. I'm so joyful, so joyful. I'm so joyful. All I can think about is how joyful and what's coming up. But, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. A lot of you might be getting excited about a vacation or that you're going to have a date with your loved one tonight. Whatever that is, that's, oh, I'm getting, you can feel it. You can feel it. And when you raise that and you keep raising that, that's when you want to sit down or even stand. A lot of times I stand, and if you know me, I stand a lot, and write down what it is that you want to manifest. Now we do this at the full moon and at the new moon in the sundial in Carefree, Arizona. We do that twice a month, online and in person, and I have you write. But first what I do is have you get into the vibrational field of your energy. Because I'm like, if we bring it up, right? I already showed you the chart, everything. Bringing that up is, is powerful because as we bring up the energy and we're writing, I have, this is the important thing. This is a writer downer, everybody. I have and I own. So let me just tell him, go out and come back in. So writing it down, I have, I own, I see, I believe, I know it. I have it. I feel it. I feel it. And then write down the love of my life that I live in carefree Arizona in a one level house. Do you see? Say it as it's done already. 
And but yet, 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 you're bringing up the vibration. And when you bring up the vibrational field, it helps to connect. So that's one. But you know what, man? He's getting Mr. Blue is here in the house. So here we go, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Thank you for coming. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, fabulous, fabulous. And you know, I know how much I love you. So go ahead and just give a little bio and say hello to the viewers. They've been waiting for you. Hello, everyone. I apologize for the uh, technical difficulties. Well, again, my name is Manny Blue. I'm an author. I'm a speaker. I'm a financial consultant. I started my journey in the music world and transitioned into personal finances after hitting rock bottom. And here I am empowering the communities and helping every way that I can. Ah, fabulous and welcome. So could you tell me and how you present money, the energy of money finances to children? Because I think you have a book, don't you? I do. I do. I do, actually. Uh, Kids and Finances 101. Um, I originally wrote this book um, with the idea of being able to help parents introduce basic financial concepts to their kids. As you and I are both aware that the traditional educational system does not teach anything about finances, which is crazy. The world runs on money, right? But we don't learn anything about it in school. No, Credit is important. Taxes are important. And we're not learning these things in school. So I decided to take it upon myself to put the book together and share it with the world. Ah, I love that. And you know, you've done so much and we're going to get you even more out there because it's really needed. I mean, my generation, we didn't learn anything. I mean, really, we never learned anything. We got a credit card and we just rang it up because we didn't know. We really didn't know what was going to happen. So I love that. And I want to say hello to my Hawaiian friend that's coming on, plus Anne coming out of, um, I think she's out of Iowa, but hello and welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. My next question is, is because you work with children, but you also work with, with adults, please tell me, working with the kids and adults, what do you find is the similarity of the energy of money with them? You know, a lot of it has to do with the relationship with money. Um, you know, most of us have been programmed early on to believe that, you know, money is the rule of all evil, that money, it's only, you know, available to the rich people who only gets richer. And um, that's what I was told growing up. Right. Yeah. And I realized that that's just that's not true. I mean, again, it's who you give the money to. Right. Um, you give money to someone that's wants to do good in the world, they're going to take the money and do great things, right? If you give money to someone that doesn't have good intentions with money, they all do the wrong things. But for the most part, everyone that I've met and, and studied and know of are doing great things with their money. So it, it's, it's all about, a, you know, changing our perspective on money. You know, everything is, everything is energy. Money is energy. Beautiful. And that's the, that goes right into the next question. Give us a tip to help the viewers, because I know viewers, you're doing this right or down, or you really want this, to align your financial goals with that positive energy. How do you do that? Give me one tip. Sure. So the first thing that you want to do is, again, start with changing your relationship with money. See money as your friend. Right. You know, imagine having a friend. Imagine breaking down at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Who's that one friend that you will call to come and rescue you? Money could be that friend for you. Money, money is your friend. Consider, consider money your friend. And once you have that relationship with money, it would always be there. It, it, it would always come in abundance. Every, sing, every single time, right? I and agree. because what we're really talking about is, and you find that in the, in the book too, is that the personal belief system or your spirituality actually influ influences it. It does. It does. It, it really does. So what you learned when you were a kid, at least my generation is it's never good enough. We're never going to have, it doesn't want to grow on tree. You know, you've heard all of those. Right. Right, right. No. We start to build these walls around that, around money, because that's what we know, right? It's, it's, just, it's just a program that we've been told, and most people don't take it upon themselves to do their own research, to experience it themselves. They just go with what they're told because they think it's the right thing or it is the only, the only way or the only thing to do. Yeah. And um, I, I challenge people to start changing and thinking outside the box 
and just just go for it just do it because once you once you connect with the same energy and the frequency of money you're going to start seeing the difference of abundance that's coming your way absolutely absolutely beautiful and you know based on an employee feedback of the american banker named happy state bank well, if you've heard about this, it's a division of Central Bank, and it's one of the best banks to work, they say, in the U.S. for the last seven years in a row. And the reason I bring this up is because they actually, a bank, gives advice. And the advice that they gave was understand your thoughts and emotions surrounding money. And it's exactly what we're talking about. Correct. And then forgive your past financial mistakes. That's the key too, because what do we do? Oh, I could, oh, I should, oh, I could. So <laughs> give us a tip to avoid that energy. You know, like, like you said, money, money carries an emotional energy, right? So when you connect that, that emotion to a past situation that could have potentially, you know, getting you to a better place, you, you just get, look, it is what it is. It's done. Take it as a lesson and then change what you're gonna do in the future with it. You know, like I, I this is something I had to fix myself with because, you know, when I was in the music industry, I was making decent money, but I didn't know anything about money. So it would just go down the drain. But had I known the investments and everything else that I know about money now, in the beginning, I used to be like, oh, I could have done this. I could have, forget about it. That's the past. What am I gonna do moving on forward? Yeah, yeah. And, sh and shift that, that, that emotion towards it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like the energy chart, right? That I showed to Correct. shift that. Yes. So, hmm, here's a good one. You know, because we get this a lot. Give, give me, when you worked with somebody, they were here and then you took them to here. Can you give us a story about somebody that, adult or a child that went, oh my gosh, now I get it. Correct. So, um, a, a lot of, a lot of adults that I work, that I work with, um, they're relying on a 401k as a retirement. That is the only thing they know. That is what they've been told. And they're like just putting all their funds into a 401k. They're, they're thinking that the 401k, it's tax-free forever. And um, unfortunately, it is not, yeah. right? The traditional 401k that your employer provides you, technically all you're doing is deferring your taxes. So I, I, had, a, I had a client that was overfunding their 401k because they were getting free money, but they didn't realize that the company only matches just a percentage. So if it's three percent, that's it. If you put in ten percent, you're you're cheating yourself in a way. So what I did was is like I explained to them how the four one k works, right? The ups and downs of the four one k, and then how to protect, how to create a separate bucket, whether that be through an annuity or through a life insurance policy that builds cash value and taking a portion of that additional funds that you're putting extra on the 401k to create an additional bucket. So that way, if the market does take it, takes a hit, but your 401k is going to lose, is possibly potentially losing your money, right? A portion of your funds, but on an annuity, on a fixed interest annuity, your money locks in. Therefore, you have one bucket that took a hit, sure, but the other one stays afloat and it's going to continue to, to, start building right where you left off once the market fixes, right? And, and a lot of people don't realize that there are different options. But again, this is one story that I actually encounter quite often. And that you're able to fix. I mean, really, that's a fix. It is a quick fix. It goes really easy. Now, I want everyone to take a moment and do this writer downer, and then I'm going to ask how Mr. Blue looks at this, is... If money walked in the door right now and it was a human being, what would that human, that's money, say to you? I want you to go ahead and answer what most people will say and then what you can do to change it. So what most people probably would say is, I, you're not good enough. You're never enough for me. I always want more for, for me. You lack in all areas. You're not good enough. That's what somebody probably would say about money as they walk in the door. So how one shift, how do we shift that? Another one, none shift. One tip. For me to give to the audience? Yes, yes. Sure. So 
you you are worthy. You are worthy. And the future stuff that you want, it's already there, right? That you now you have to connect with forget about where you are right now. Think about where where you want to be and connect your emotions and feelings to, to your future self and start acting as if it's already done. The money's there. Stop worrying about money. It's it's there. Connect to that emo connect your emotion and energy towards the future. You you for yourself and watch how money's gonna become your best friend. Absolutely. Wonderful one. So here's one that I get asked all the time too. When it comes to paying bills, do you have a tip to raise the energy to change that? Because a lot of people dread it. So what is a good way to change that energy? I think one way that we an easy way to do is just simple budgeting right most people drain it because let's say they have a car payment that's due at the end of the month right let's say it's four hundred dollars that's a big chunk of your paycheck so instead of waiting to the lap to the end of the month to pay the entire uh car payment every week take a portion out of your check every week every time you, you make money take a portion and put it aside so when you do have to pay it your your last check of the month a big check doesn't have to go out you know out the door because you have to pay your car you already you pre you pre-plan pre you pre-plan that payment in advance so it, it doesn't feel like a big anchor on that Friday, you know? Um, simple budgeting definitely helps a lot in, in again, it starts in, in, in saving as well, of course. But um, the budgeting part, I think, is huge, and a lot of people don't. Uh, people just go day by day, paycheck to paycheck. Um, if you just do simple budgeting, it, it's going to go a long way. Ah, beautiful one. That's an awesome one for sure. And you know what? We're getting close to time right now. So I was wondering, don't you have a free gift for us? I do. I do actually. Um, the link is going to be right on the screen somewhere. And this guide is, is a guide to help you change how you see money, how you think of money and how to learn how to, how, how you, can, you can position yourself to attract more money and more abundance. Again, we have to you, we have to break that old message and program that we were told and start rewriting it kind of like your cell phone right your cell phone every few months you get a new update right why because he's gonna make your phone better so it, why not update your mindset and how you think about money so that you can have more money and do better things and, and do what you want with it and do great things in life with it yeah and I want to say personally, too, thank you for giving and serving the way that you do because it's helping the children. And I really believe the children are, is everything. It, they really are. And it, the last question that I always love to ask everybody, if you were a if you had a superpower, what would it be? I think the ability to teleport. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yes. Yeah, I would love. I would love that to be to be able to be in, in you know places in in a blink of an eye and you know help people where I can. I, I think that's just you know my mission. My mission has been has been just serving and helping people. So if I can do that a little faster, why not? I love that. And welcome to to a couple more people that have coming on. I so appreciate you, Linda, and coming on. So let's go back because we're pretty much at the time so if you'd like to give a lasting like words or anything please go right ahead mr blue yeah just you know it's <sighs> everything that you want in life i know that sometimes it's hard to see the better days when you're struggling when money's tight but the minute you start feeling in abundance i promise you you're gonna stop you're gonna stop looking at your bank account wondering if you have the money to pay your bills, if you can afford to buy a bottle of water, just just connect yourself with your future self and, and just be open minded. Keep an open mind because that's going to take you a long way. Biggest thing he just said, viewers, have an open mind. Look at your future self. And many of us don't understand that past, present, future is all happening at the same time. That's quantum physics. That's not woo woo. Right. That's not the Reiki or the spiritual counselor stuff. The other <laughs> stuff that I do. This is quantum physics that I teach. Right. So it's so correct. And I so appreciate you, Miss Blue, and what you do to help the planet and to serve others. 
So thank you so much for being here. And viewers, thank you so much. And you know that I have a signature song and that I always have my guests sing along with us or at least move and groove to the song. Now look at the words right here because they are the words of the philosophy telling them that life helps to show us. We thank you so much, Mr. Blue. So I get to see you next time. Fire and soul, root within your heart, let your spirit flow, ask for what you want, show them what you got, take it to the top, don't you ever stop, stop. shine, shine, shine on, raise it, raise it, vibration, shine, shine, shine. beautiful nice music to get you going so now let's take a moment as we said goodbye to mr. blue what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do that activation visualization meditation to help us to connect so let's take about a minute to breathe in this breathing I would like you to breathe into your nose and out through slip mouth now the ultimate is in and out your nose it's the best actually for you yet when you're first learning the diaphragmic breath and how to diaphragmic breathe and breathing that sometimes it's helpful so let's take a breath in we're gonna do this for about a minute Again. Calming your vibrational feel to the nervous system. Relax the shoulders. Get comfortable wherever you're at so that you can connect to this energy. And as you're connecting to this energy with your breath, keep your breath rhythmic as you hear my voice nurturing healing coming through I want you to take another big deep breath in and as the vibrational fields coming in and you're starting to relax the physical we're going to visualize and know that you're feeling this safe secure protected place that you are in that beautiful safe secure protected and as you close now your outer eyes and open that inner eye now, we're going to ask that the crystal of the pyrite <clears throat> comes in, that we're also breathing in the beauty of the shining wheel and the position of the male energy. And also we're going to bring in our animal, that our power animal to watch over us. And today we're going to bring in the medicine of the rat. And as we bring these in, in this beautiful meditation, take a deep breath again. And then that breath out, we're going to release what no longer serves. We're going to release pain, shame, guilt, fear, trying too hard, coulda, shoulda, what is any of those things that are in our way vibrationally that doesn't have us completely connecting to the field of vibration of the frequency of abundance, the frequency of not only abundance of money, but also the abundance of beautiful relationships, great health great ease and glory throughout our day breathing that in with the, such grace and ease and as we're here clear and cleansed now 
becoming more and more grounded, protected here, knowing that you're safe, secure, protected. Listen to my voice. And now we're asking that and knowing with this vibrational field that you're creating all the way around and you're knowing that you're calibrating and you're activating the vibrational field of abundance and also your desires and in this alignment hear my words in this alignment we're going to see in our mind's eye and tune into this energy in such a beautiful way that turning in shifts the reality of any traumas anything in our lives that was in our way of lower vibration breathe and let it go let it go and release as now with the calibration, the activation of energy, we're going to bring in the crystalline gold liquid waters. And in this beautiful crystalline gold waters, hear my voice, as this, wa as this beautiful liquidine is going through every cell, cell nuclear, every system, every organ, and it's infusing this energy of the crystalline gold waters of abundance and always abundance and always bring this abundance and we're going to tune into this energy and feeling this frequency and breathing it in with love and light and beauty the knowing the feeling of it the feeling of this vibration and tuning this system and you can feel this gentle wave of healing rejuvenation washing over you to feel this and then imagine this limitless abundance surrounding you like an overflowing fountain of prosperity breathe into this overflowing fountain that's around you with the clear and you may see it in your mind's eye this beautiful gold waters the beautiful gold waters as you breathe this in and now focus on this intention that's how you're manifesting your financial abundance and maybe even saying i see in my bank account three thousand thirty thousand three hundred thousand and more and more I feel it's there and feel it you must feel and let that liquid gold come through and really connect to the feeling of this with so much ease grace and glory don't try to figure it out just let it go feel this moment right now being in that in that grateful gratitude feeling that you're feeling in your heart because you deserve the very best you deserve the very best and in that very best is that abundance of finance is that and take this moment to really anchor this calibration this alignment that you're having and we're going to anchor this energy and it's going to hit not only the abundance as we anchor this we're also going to hit the health of our bodies the health and wellness and we're going to start to breathe as we can as we bring in the rat energy of always having enough as we're bringing in the male energy of that leadership that power that beauty of the balance and as we bring in the pyrite the fool's goal energy we're going to now feel this as it is now anchored it's becoming more and more sealed and anchored into the vibration and we're going to seal it we're going to lock it in and seal it and we're going to in all levels activate every part in our vibration and bathe and imagine bathing this in a beautiful way that it bathes all through and it's more peaceful flexibility rejuvenation regeneration the maximum strength flexibility the well-being as this liquid gold is coming all through clearing cleansing and amplifying with great season glory this beautiful colors come up as we have locked it in we sealed it and now that activation calibration is done feel it and stay in the heart with it stay in the heart with this as you experience this meditation and thanking the rat 
the essence and the medicine and thanking the crystal of the pyrite and thanking the position on the shining wheel of the male to help us to anchor, lock, and seal this. Breathe into this beauty because you hold this as you visualize this. Let's take a moment. Beautiful, beautiful. And now, bringing you from here to come back into the room, come back into your body. And thank you so much for being here. Move your hands, open your eyes, and start moving and moving and start moving around and come back and come back to this meditation anytime you want to help with your abundance and feel this. Feel, remember that feeling of the emotion, what Joe Dispenser said. Feel the energy. You got this. And I love you so much. I'm Angel Marie Monticelli. And I'll see you next time on this beautiful meditation visualization that activates and calibrates your energy. Thank you. And remember, what? Change your mindset. Ignite your energy and shine out. Thank you so much. Ah, how you feel? Isn't that beautiful? You feeling good? Well, you know what? I want to give you a free gift today because, well, because I can. And you're free VIB because you, I value you. Get on my calendar. Let's have a chat about what you would like to learn about. Do you want to learn about Reiki, counseling? Do you want to know about the cookbook? What do you want to know about? Because I'm here to help you and to serve you. So thank you for that. And you know what? I'm here every week um, with a special guest from all over the world that's going to be cut that comes on. And we have different, again, we have, we come out of here with a different energy. And next week, we're going to have the lovely gal. She's going to be coming on. She's a money me mentor transformational coach and a best-selling author. And she's going to be coming on to next week to talk about money again, because you know what this, I've been getting so many people coming on and they're like, oh my gosh, I want more. I want more. I want to understand more. I want to manifest my dreams with it. I want to be here. Now, what did you learn from the amazing Mr. Blue? Okay. What you learned was, is to always show up and have a relationship energy with money because it is just money and one of the things that he said was is to always see where you want to be oh, I love that and stay in that vibrational field that's the important part too so go ahead and share this out with your friends and family because they want to hear it they want to get into it they you know that they are wanting to step into it and you know and if you would like more and how to raise your energy and experience the energy in a one-on-one, -on -one, just contact me today because I would love, love, love to help you with your energy and how you show up and how you can become more connected to your energy on a beautiful basis all the time, every single time. So thank you so much again for being here and I will see you next week. And then remember to do what? change your mindset, ignite your energy, and shine on. Because I love you so much. And until I get to see you next week, thank you so much for this. Oh. <sighs>